you have to get your leverage leverage position and you can get it done unscrewing it the bolt in not the nut side that's about the only way you can get it done because like i said the nut side has a locker on it so it's wise to unloosen all the bolts but don't take anything out so this is once you know this a little bit, this is, saves you a bunch of time. I couldn't get it off yesterday because I was trying the other end. So that's why I'm post. I'm gonna post this because of how much easier it makes this job to be. Just a little trick. Just knowing that both of these are the same way. So I'm gonna put the camera down so I get the work done. I got one of them off. This is what it looks like. It's a nut with this blocker on it. So it's only going to spin so far because of the cradle that it can sit on or sits in. It goes up to the top and lock. So you have to basically unscrew the other side because of that locking mechanism that's built in to that nut. I'm about to take this knuckle steering. Um, point loose here, joint here loose. And I'm gonna use a pickle fork, my ball pin hammer. Pickle fork, take it up in here. I'm gonna hit the hammer a couple times, knock it loose. It's gonna ruin the rubber gasket on it. But I'm putting a whole new thing on there. So, like this rubber gasket on this one is ruined. Where the grease goes in. This one has the zerk fitting to go on the other side. And it's the rubber gasket to hold it rubber boom it's gonna ruin it but that's how I'm gonna knock it off and hit that a couple times I got the two main bolts loose nuts off got the uh, oh no I don't have the uh, castle bolt off so before I start knocking this I better take the castle bolt off that goes on top of this steering connection here bolt up there I probably a 17 I think Yeah, I got that out of there. Got the castle bolt, castle nut, not a bolt. It was a nut. Got it loosened. So I'm gonna take my pickle fork, my ball pin hammer. Got that broke loose. Take my gloves off and get the glue off. Mess all of my camera. See if I can show you this last bolt I need to disconnect from the stabilizer. Size 13. Flat, a flat nut on top of it. Oh, by the way, one of the best things to use for loosening the bolts, if you need to, is a chemical called PB Blast. Works way better than WD 40. cars get to a certain age all the rubber parts start to deteriorate so so I got all the bolts loose all the nuts loose I push this plastic cover um, piece back get the nut off that nut came off the stabilizer arm which is this piece right here I just took it off, what to do with it? But it's a little 
set of rubber bushings, basically. I don't see them. I'm not showing them to you. But castle bolts off, castle nuts off. That stabilizer bushing is off. That nut is off of that bracket. So now I'm gonna knock the bolts out the brackets on both the front side and the back side. And this thing's gonna fall out. Actually, well, not gonna quite fall out, but that's about all that's all it is to it. Got both of the bolts, long bolts pulled out here. And bracket basically falls out. Uh, look at this bushing on this one, and you can see right through it. I think this is going to make a significant difference in my ride. I had a lot of vibration going on, as well as with that pull, as well as with that right hand and left hand pull. But this is not hard to take off. Just got to make sure you're jacked up. Not real hard. Yeah, my battery's about to run out. Uh, that's the second connection there. And just sticking that bolt in there, it goes right in, pretty much. When you put the nut on there, though, the nut only is going to spin a half turn. So you have to spin it from the bolt end. So other than that, I did find that other set of bushings. It rolled up under the car. That's what that looks like. Stabilizer bushing. And it goes right in here. Just a set of rubber bushings. Other than that, put these four bolts back in here. Grease the fitting. The tie rod fitting, or the steering knuckle fitting, and uh, that's not the steering knuckle, but anyway, it's a little control on fitting down here. Grease that, put the Zerk fitting in already. It kind of stripped out, so I'm gonna put epoxy around it. Hopefully, that'll hold it. Some kind of JD weld or something. Didn't take much to strip it out either, so beware. But that's all it takes. That's gonna save me 700 bucks from Pop Pep Boys. Took me about two and a half hours to get this done. And I ain't no mechanic.